Hello everyone, this is King Kony IoT. Last video, we have used the logical controller to send the analog and the digital and the temperature sensor the data to your own cloud server. Just like this website, you can see the temperature and the digital input and the analog input. That we have used the node red. We have created the follows. Uh, this is input for the digital input and the analog input and the temperature. So we can see the temperature, we have a demo, just like this, uh, temperature 1 and temperature 2. Uh, just we, like this, uh, this is temperature 1 and this is temperature 2. You can see when I hold down the temperature 1, now the value is changed, uh, it become up. You can see this, and also I can hold down the temperature 2. Now the temperature too, it become up. So uh, this is the temperature sensor have sent the data to your server, and this website get the data from your server. And in this video, we will tell you how to save this temperature sensor state uh, as a local file. We can just record the local. You can see this becomes January. And every day, if the temperature is changed, so it will save to the local file, the txt file. This video, I will tell you how to do this. The first step, you need to use our logical controller PC software. When you connect to the uh, COL, there is a setting. You need to set this value. This is the temperature value. This is for analog and this auto send seconds time. This means if the temperature is more than 0 0.1 uh, or less than 0 0.1, uh, the, the, date, uh, the date will be sent to your server. So you can change if the temperature is 0 0.5 or 1 degree, or just it's up to you. So if you send the value is large, so the record will be little. If you send the value is small, so the record will be more items, more records. Now we send to this, and we can close this software. This node we have created, uh, you can also download from our form. And this time we just add this function and this save to file, uh, this node, just like this. Uh, you can see this uh, file, this means save to file, and this is a function, and this is the payload, is output the temperature value. You can double click, and you can see this code uh, we have created, and also I will upload this photos to our form. Uh, you can download it directly to use. When we receive a temperature, then we can get the hour, and the minutes, and the seconds. And also we get the year, the month, and the date. So you can see the debug window. Uh, the temperature is changed. Then we'll send this time, and this date, and this temperature value. You can see this is a, a time, and this is my computer time. Why is it different? Because this time is according to your server time zoom. Uh, this time zoom is in the Europe, and this time, is in my computer is in China, so it's different. And when you uh, can get this time and this date, uh, you just connect all this stream together, uh, date and the time, and uh, use this payload. This is the payload for the date display, and the time I uh, display the time and the temperature uh, like temperature one. Uh, this is temperature one. Adjust uh, this. We can see this will be clearly. This date uh, means this date, and this is a date value. Uh, this is today's date value. And this time is in this time, and this is time value, and in this, and this is temperature. Also, you can change the name, not is temperature one. You can change to water temperature, or air temperature, or soil temperature, just up to you. And this is temperature value. 
So uh, this display name and the value all use this sentence. Just when this sentence uh, have output to the value, output to the text file. OK. Now we can see the next. The next, uh, when you create the payload, you just use this node. This node is saved to file. This file name just logo.txt. Just this. Uh, you can just uh, for this name. And this means append to file. This means append to file just uh, add a new record, add a new record, add a new record, uh, just append. And if you choose this overwrite, overwrite, every time you will have only every time you will have only one record just changed will overwrite the old record will not have this so many records okay and this is delete file just with delete file and, and in this case we will use append to file and this is add the new line the slack n to each payload that means every when every line is finished, have an end just like this. If not, click these options. Then you will output like this. You will output like this, uh, not uh, use a new line. So it's for easy to clearly to see we, we need to this use this format. So we click these options. And others not to change, just to get for it OK. Then we press the down. OK, when we deploy, you can see when I changed the channel one. Uh, you can see this is now the temperature is updated. This temperature is updated. OK. We have experiment. We have two word. Now we, uh, we are prepared for two word. This is hot. And this is cool. And we, we place in this way. And now this is temperature one. Uh, when I put to the word, you can also put your sensor to the word tank. Yeah, put it to the word. The temperature is high because now in China is winter. So the air temperature is very low. The water temperature uh, is high. Now it's 30 degree. And when I open this website, we can also open this website. You can see this is this is 30 degree it changed. You can see when I put the temperature to the hot temp, hot water. You can see this is the value is changed right now uh, up. Thirty, and also we can see in this debug window, uh, this is uh, 70, 75. It's very high. Okay, we can remove this sensor. Now the temperature is down. Okay, this is a, a temperature record. It become up and become down, and we all this have saved to the file. This all record we have saved to the file 
uh, logo.txt file. And now we how to get the files. We use this. We will use this win scp files to get the files from your server, from your card server. It's also easy to use this software win win scp. Okay, when open these files, you can download from this website. This software is open source and is free. So you can install, I have already installed. When you first time use, just create a server for you. This is our Amazon EC2 public IP we have created. And this is port uh, 22. And this is the username of uh, Ubuntu. And this is the uh, not use the password because the EC2 use the authentication. This is a private key file uh, you can choose. We have generated by the protect generate uh, in last video. So we just choose this private key. Uh, now we can save and use the login. Okay, now we can connect to our host uh, to the EC2 and by the username of Ubuntu and uh, import the key. Okay, this is successfully logging to the, our server. This is the create, uh, you can see the log.txt file have create at, at this time, this is service time. We can download, we can choose download, and uh, download to where? This is our computer, my computer, local folder, uh, press OK. Because I have already these files, so we just choose overwrite, yes. Now you download it. This window, left window, uh, this right window is in your service file. Uh, this window is in your local disk in your computer. So you just uh, send a file, this to this, or this to this, uh, just uh, to send and receive files, it's very easy. And now we can open these files we have downloaded from our server. We just open. Uh, you can see many, many, many record. Uh, uh, this is the time. You can see when the this is date, a uh, time, and the temperature. The temperature is become up. Become up. Uh, this is the top list value. And now, when I remove the sensor from the world, uh, the temperature will become down. It come down. And to this, uh, this is the last look card when I download. This is the last. We can also see this. Now the temperature is go on, uh, become down. So uh, this is the whole progress. We have captured the temperature and save to the logo file so it's it's easy just to use this function and this look node this file to save note uh, so it's very easy uh, in next video i will tell you how to uh, save the file uh, save the record to the excel file microsoft excel file so that you can use the uh, chart of the gra graphic image to see the history record and the the date uh, very beautifully. This is our next video. Okay, thanks for watching.